What's up guys? Welcome back. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna talk about something slightly embarrassing, but hopefully it's really useful for you guys and it'll help you out if you have the same problem as me. So let's just get to it. Today I'm gonna talk about mole, wart, and skin tag removal because I have a problem with moles and skin tags. Not so much warts. I don't think I have, I don't think I've ever gotten a wart. I hate going to the dermatologist, honestly, and getting them removed because I can't ever get in. It takes three months and it's expensive. My insurance doesn't cover it. So I found something that you can do at home and it's really effective and it takes off any type of wart, mole, or skin tag in a couple of weeks even sooner than a couple of weeks. Sometimes I've had it done in like a couple of days because if it's small. So I use this kit, which is the Wart and Mole Vanish Herbal Self-Application Kit. This works really well and I'm gonna demonstrate it for you because I have two tiny moles here on my chest that I need to remove because it's bugging me. So I wanna show you how I do it and um, how this works. Um, I'm gonna show you the contents in the box and how to use and how I use everything because it's actually pretty simple. All right, so it comes with instructions and it's really important that you read these instructions and then you also have uh, another little pamphlet in here to show you basically what's in the box. So the, it comes with three Q-tips for cleaning before and after you do your treatment. That's what you've got the Q-tips in there. So, and then an emery board. This is used for scratching soft uh, moles and skin tags only, not the hard ones, more of the soft ones. Scratching is very important prior to doing the cream because you've got to kind of rough up that area so the cream will penetrate. Uh, so this is what I use to rough up my moles and it works really, really well. There's a toothpick in here. So it's got two applicator sticks, one for smaller moles and one for larger moles. And then um, this is just to use to, I would say like to stir the cream. This is what the cream looks like. And then you would just put in your applicator stick, like kind of move it around and then apply the cream. Oh, also, and this is um, antibacterial solution, which you wanna clean the area before and after you do it. Let me show you up close. I'm gonna turn these lights down so you can see. So I don't know if you guys can see, but um, there are two moles right here. There's this one and then there's this one. And those are the two that we're gonna remove today. First thing you're gonna do is you're going to wash your mole, your wart, or your skin tag in the antibacterial solutions. Next, you're gonna scratch. So I'm gonna use the emery board and scratch these two moles because they are smaller and soft. That's what you wanna use. You don't wanna do it too rough. Then I'm gonna take the cream, I'm gonna dip my applicator stick into the cream and apply a very, very small layer of the um, WMV cream to um, the mole. Uh, you will feel some stinging, a slight kind of tingling, stinging sensation that is okay. It goes away in a couple of minutes. Um, it doesn't hurt that bad, but it's working. All right guys, so it has been 20 minutes. The cream that I applied is now dried. Um, let me show you. So you can see, all right, so this one and this one are both dried. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna clean. And so I cleaned off the area and you can see that they're a little bit black. I'm gonna go ahead and just apply that antibacterial solution afterwards. So actually the moles are a little bit darker, which is a good thing because that means they're just gonna fall off eventually. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of take you through like week by week and show you what it looks like, even though it might be kind of gross, until it falls off completely. So you, if you guys are interested in purchasing this or I do have a coupon code, which you could get the kit yourself. I'm gonna go ahead and get off here, but I will be back in a couple days to kind of show you uh, what it looks like. So stay tuned. Hey guys, so it is check-in number one. This is, let's see, um, this is about three days later and um, my, one and one has already fallen off and one is about to, which is crazy because sometimes depending on the size or I think like the softness or hardness of it, sometimes it could take a couple weeks to fall off. Oh my gosh, I have not seen how bad I look today. Okay, so you can see that this one has already fallen off. 
no scarring or anything. Um, nothing in that area. And then this one right here is scabbing over and turning color, which it will do. And then eventually it will fall off, which I will show you. So um, yeah, so far so good. And so I will check back in once this has changed color in a little bit and stay tuned. It's been about a week and both of my moles have fallen off. One did not leave a mark at all and the other left a very uh, small red mark. I just wanted to show you guys right there. If you can see that, it's very, very faint. I, I do know that eventually um, that mark will go away and it'll be totally smooth like nothing was ever there. Hey guys, I have one final check-in. I wanted to show you guys my um, beautiful chest with no moles. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the red mark is completely gone. Um, there's like, no trace of any moles, which is crazy because if you can see some of these white marks right here, that is actually a mole that I got removed in the office. So this kit leaves less of, you know, scarring or a mark than it would if you got it done in the office, which is awesome. And it probably depends on the size of the mole. But basically what I wanted to share with you is a couple of things that you can do in addition to this to kind of help with the scarring and the mark. After you do the treatment, a scab should form about 24 to 48 hours after, and then you wanna use aloe every four hours after you've treated your mole, and then after the scab has fallen off, they also recommend doing like a vitamin, a vitamin E oil every four hours just to kind of help with the scarring. I actually didn't do either of those, just for reference, and I still did not have any type of scar or long lasting mark. I think it just depends on how your body um, reacts to it. So if you feel like maybe it might be a little bit more reactive, try those two steps and I think that you're gonna have really good results. I will put a link below to this kit. Um, I do have a coupon code for you. I really loved my experience using this. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you next time.